All right, good morning. It is the 28th of March, 2023. We had a big rain here yesterday in South Georgia. I guess hard for an hour. We needed it. I'm out here this morning with my Howard Hill Wesley Special Longbow. Her name is Olive Oil. By the way, about Olive Oil, we have essentially quit using the soybean oil and all of the processed oils that, that uh, are available at Walmart and have switched over to olive oil. It might be a little bit more expensive, but I haven't noticed it. You know, it's, you know, but it's real. It's a real thing. They just take the olives and they press it in a press, and the oil comes out. They run it through a filter. I have no idea why I said that. I have no idea why I say a lot of things. But I'm going to shoot the bow a few times and see if something does come to me to talk about this morning. See what I can do with this thing. I'll take that. That was a hit. see what I can do. I got six arrows here. Let's see if I can concentrate enough to get six of them. I'm at about 20 yards here. Might have been a little low. That one might have been a little high, but it's a kill. One more. Too bad. We'll see how that. Well, we saw it. Then you got your camera on it. All right, that's a decent group right there. Take this, this one out, and that's really good right there. All right, it is Tuesday, I know that. And I'm trying to think, oh, let me go sit down over here. Let me get my coffee too. Ducks are very frisky this morning. All right, I have been instructed by my master, Yeshua the Messiah, Jesus Christ. He actually owns me in the sense that I am his servant. I am a miserable servant, I will tell you. But nevertheless, I am a servant of Yeshua, Jesus. And he instructed his servants
to go out and try to find his lost sheep. He lost a lot of them. Well, he didn't lose them. They wandered off. And he is zealous to round those sheep back up again. This has been going on for about 2,000 years. Nowadays, it's a different, there's a different way of doing it. I feel it watching since I've been on in the earth over 70 years. It was pretty much done in churches back, you know, when I was a child and all. That was pretty much all that was said about, you know, you go to a church and a preacher would preach to you. But nowadays we have the internet. It is possible for a person with a camera or even a phone to make a video and put it on the internet and go out all over the world. It's amazing, really. And so that's the way I'm looking for the lost sheep. Many of the lost sheep, I would say all of the lost sheep, are in danger. They are hurting. They are miserable in their lives. Some of them are on the verge of suicide. They may be on all kinds of medications because they are so miserable. Their minds have gotten mixed up. Honestly, all they really want to do is sleep because that's the only way that they can get relief is to sleep. And I am feeling for them because I was one of those lost sheep. I do not like the idea that there are people out there that are hurting so bad with nobody to reach out to them. I'm reaching out. I know that somewhere, sometime, somebody that is in that situation is going to come across this video. And they are saying, there's got to be more to life than this. This is awful. The sheep, that is Yeshua's lost sheep. You have been fooled by the cares of the world, by the glitter of the world. It might be money, People make this mistake, if I have enough money, I will be happy. It's not true. Money can't make you happy. If I could get some more drugs, I'll be happy. That's not going to make you happy. Here's a big one right here. I got to get rid of this wife of mine that's a chain around my neck because she's making me unhappy. Likewise, a woman is saying, I made a mistake getting with this person. I'm unhappy and that person is making me unhappy. And I need to get rid of that person. No person can make you unhappy. A human, another human being can't make you unhappy. You're unhappy because of what's happening in here. Now, if God has put you with somebody 
Well, you obviously had an attraction to them to start with. You would never got with them if you didn't. But because you're an unhappy person, because you have refused Christ at this time in your life, instead of looking at yourself and saying, hey, I'm miserable because of what? Of my choices, because I'm lost, I'm going to blame you. You're the reason that I'm unhappy. You're holding me back. I could have been this and that if it hadn't been for you. There's a whole bunch of people out there that are thinking that. It's not going to happen. You're not going to get somebody else that's going to make you happy. You can't get happiness that way. Happiness comes from Jesus. Joy comes from Jesus. Okay, so this is what you do. You ask Him to save you. Jesus, I want you to give me happiness. I want you to save me. I'm miserable. You've got to accept now that you're the reason that you're miserable. It's not somebody else. It's not where you live. It's not the school you go to. It's not the house you live in. That's not what's making you miserable. You're just blaming that. Millions and millions There must be a hawk flying over or something. Those chickens were really sounding out. Millions of people, billions of people have lived on this earth back in the old times, in the ancient times, in small thatched huts. And they were happy. Now, it's not about your house. People have lived in every place in the world and been happy. All the way from the Arctic Circle, where they only had like a month of summer, all the way to the tropics, where it's hot all the time. And they were happy. It's not where you live. Some of the happiest people in the world are people that have no education to speak of. It's not your education. Going to, and uh, this is what I see on the TV, all these online colleges. Oh, if I only had a degree in this or that, I could get a job. That's not going to make you happy. They just want your money, honestly. And they may want to indoctrinate you into a false belief. Happiness is none of that kind of stuff. I want you, lost sheep, to look at yourself for the reason of your unhappiness. Come to Jesus and say, I'm a sinner, Jesus. I see it now. I've made a mess of my life. I'm going to quit blaming other people. I'm going to quit blaming my part of the country I live in. I want you to come in and change me inside so that I can be happy. Seek the kingdom of heaven, and then all of these things will be added to you. You will be able to see clearly what you need to do. These are the words that came out of my mouth this morning. And as I often say, it sounds to me like I'm just 
front in my mouth. But I don't know what the Holy Spirit in me, who he's trying to talk to out there. And I don't know how the words will affect that person. So I'm trying not to judge myself for not being as eloquent as I think I need to be. Words are very mysterious and how they affect different people is, is mysterious. Might just be one person out there that when I said that stuff to them about this is not why you're unhappy, that it just hit them. Hit them, yes. I think that I need to do this. I need to get a new car. Whatever it is you think you need to do. It's not going to make you happy. If you're unhappy, then changing your circumstances is not going to make you happy. There's another reason that you're unhappy. There is a hole in your heart. A hole in your heart. And that hole in your heart can be filled with Jesus the Messiah. And then you can be happy. There are people that are in prison for life that are happy, that have found Jesus. There, there are rich people that have found Jesus that are happy. And there are the ultra poor that have found Jesus that are happy. There are homeless people that have found Jesus and they are happy. There's a hole in your heart. Reach out. Jesus, save me. Come into my heart. And He will come in. And He will stop that hole up in your heart. Stop the flow of blood. And He will begin to heal you. Jesus, heal me. I'm on the verge of having to go to the insane asylum. Heal my mind. Alright. Sometimes it's just not going to necessarily heal you in one second. It's a process. But it'll give you hope. This is the direction I need to go now. Not all of these other glittering, shiny things in the world. This is the way it came out this morning. I'll go in the house. Debbie will unpack it onto the computer and I will look at it. And I can just about tell you that I will like it when I see it. Sometimes I don't talk real fast. Sometimes I stop and think. But I'm talking to you. This is how people talk. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Come to me. He's offering eternal life. And he's, by the way, he's also offering joy. My joy I give to you. So not only are you going to have eternal life after your body dies, but you're going to have a peaceful existence. Peaceful, I'm not saying that you'll have every material thing added to you. He never promised that. I will say that if you have the peace of Jesus, you will definitely manage your material world better. You'll realize things you need, really need, and things that you don't need. You're not necessarily going to get rich. This is not a prosperity message. This time on earth is going to fly away. You're going to go the way that you came. But your soul is a different thing. All right, this is Gardner Israel, signing off.